Hey everyone, Tech Steve here. And on this video, we're gonna look at the gaming options on the Hisense A6H. Now on the screen, I have an Xbox Series X pulled up and you can see this as 4K. There's some options for 1080p and 720p. If we go over here to the 4K TV details, you can see it will support 4K at 60 Hertz. It also supports um, the 4K 10 bits, Dolby Vision, HDR10. And uh, let's go ahead and check out some of the settings. So if we go into the video modes, you can see that it does show some options for low latency and variable refresh rate, but they're grayed out. So this is the fix. You would take the remote control and then you're gonna press the menu button. Under the menu, you have some options here. One is gaming zone. So if we press on that, you can see, you can toggle over here and now you can have a on-screen uh, graphics, which we'll leave on throughout this video. So I just moved it down just a little bit. Now, if we go into what they call gaming zone settings, here you can adjust the black levels, the white levels, your motion, and you can see that you can set it up for off, custom, film, clear, smooth. So that's pretty great for gaming. And then you have an option for low latency, which is grayed out. So now we have this turned on, what you wanna do is go back and then go down to where it says HDMI format. And this is very familiar anytime you buy a Google TV, you have to go turn this on. So now that we have that turned on, let's go back into the Xbox. So if I go back and then go back into video modes, now you have the option to turn on the auto low latency and you have the option to turn on the variable refresh rate right there. So that's how you get all the four options. What I'm gonna do, and this is available on Xbox, not PS5, I'm gonna go in here and override the HDMI connection, but we're gonna see if we can get this TV to at least accept a 120 hertz signal. So now we have it here. Let's go ahead and drop down to 1440p. Hit yes. So now the TV's in 1440p, which I wouldn't do that because you have the option for 4K. But the question is, can it support 120 hertz at 1440? Keep resolution. So there you have it. This TV cannot support it, but it can support 1080p at 120 hertz even though it is a 60 hertz panel. Now we'll tell you that this TV will probably perform better in SDR ratings instead of HDR, but let's go in here and look at the settings. So this is the calibration you would do. And what you wanna do is just press the plus and minus so you can barely see the checkerboards. Once you hit that, go and press on next. Same thing here. And this is how you set up the HDR option. So when you get that, you wanna go ahead and press on next and just keep adjusting this until you can barely see those checkerboards on the screen. And that's the before and after. So you can see the sky has a lot more details in it. Press done. And there you go. That's how you set up a Xbox Series X or S on a Hisense A6H. Next.